Johnson, your Dodds reporter, speaking to you from in front of the Tavern on the Green in the heart of New York's Central Park, where a hearty group of press representatives are on hand to witness the start of a historic coast-to-coast -coast run of a modified 1962 Dodge, powered by a gas turbine engine. The test is another phase in the extensive evaluation of this engine by Chrysler to determine the feasibility of this type engine in passenger cars of the future. A team of Chrysler research engineers, headed by George Huebner, Jr., executive engineer research, will attempt the 3,000-mile run scheduled to end in Los Angeles on New Year's Eve. Let's join them for this trip in a turbine. California, here we come. We're out of the heavy New York traffic and through the tunnel on the approach to the New Jersey Turnpike for the first leg of our journey. We pick up our ticket and move on. It didn't take long to run into some bad weather, snow squalls in South Jersey. Our first fuel stop is at Willow Grove, Pennsylvania, on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. The turbine takes on a full load of diesel fuel. One of the many different fuels will burn in the next four and a half days. Thursday, December 28th, second day. Back on to the Ohio Turnpike after a short overnight stop in Toledo, where we arrived about 2 a.m., covering the 600 miles from New York in a little over 12 hours. This turbine can really move. It was close to zero when we left at 7 a.m., and it never really warmed up. But it made no difference to our smoothly operating turbine. Sign ahead. Indiana, 34 miles away. Wonder how much snow they have out there. One consolation, it couldn't get much worse. We skirted around Chicago in mid-morning and picked up famed Route 66 as we turned south for the first time into Illinois.